tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Make it clear. 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 Make it Hi everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. I hate to say this, but we're back in Valdez, Alaska. It's a place that we say we're never coming back to. We've been here too many times, time to go somewhere else. But you know what? The fishing is so good. Valdez Outfitters rang us in Anchorage and said, guys, you need to come up. So we got in the car, drove five hours, and we came to one of the greatest silver runs in all of North America. And guess what? The fish are here this year. They're in big. And if you come out here like we did with chartreuse and blue fire brine baits, you're gonna find out how easy it is catch some nice silvers up here on the last frontier. Let's see how we do. Right, that is. Silver. So. Is that a silver? Yeah. I think it's a silver. Yeah, silver. Here, come to the side. Yeah. Oh, no. How long did that take to get your first fish? Uh, about two seconds. All right, welcome hey, to Alaska. Hey, hey. It is a big silver. Welcome to Alaska. Look at that thing, boy. Literally. <laughs> Five seconds, and we're in the game. Not even, but two seconds drop down. <laughs> Here we are out fishing. You just sat the downriggers down. Wasn't even two seconds, and the fish is on. What a way to start. All right, locked up again. Still fighting. Nice silver. Yeah, look at that silver. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoop! There we go. Was that the blue again or the shark? That blue. Man, they're all over that blue today. So we're using a couple downriggers and then off the back we're using dipsy divers, deep sixes. Coming from a deep six, get it down there 30, 40 feet to a nice big flasher to a hoochie setup that we're putting our brine bait on. You can tell we're using a lot of blue fire brine today. Seems to be the hot thing. So we're just taking half a herring, get a little cut, right at its gills, and then do the second hook right in its back and just stick it out part way. Just like that, the hoochie will slide right down next to it and will be good to go. Fish on! Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, come back here, buddy. Stay out of our other lines there, buddy. Hey, where are you going? We told you before. <laughs> Not really yet. Good job. You're hired. Great. <laughs> Yeah. Nice though. I'll grab it. Might get the fuck on that down 
another nice silver. Still got lice all on them. Is there sea lice on them? Oh wow, look at all the sea lice, yeah. Woo! And we'll get some more. We're gonna start brining a new batch of herring. We've used a bunch of it today. We try to do it four to six hours or even the night before if you can stick it in the fridge and keep the herring kind of hard and fresh. What we like to use, we use green and blue and it kind of just descends on the day which color works best. So all we gotta do is take a whole flat of bait troll herring. We're just gonna cut it open. You can do this when it's frozen or thawed. You know, if you do it when it's frozen, you can just, it'll end up eventually thaw in there. Get them all in there, nice and even. These little tub wires make a nice little holder. We're gonna do some green, because we already have blue. So we take the fire brine, green, and it's simple as this. Just pour it right on, fill it up until they're covered. There we go. A little extra. Now they're just gonna sit in there and soak for four to six hours, like I said. We like to do it overnight a lot of times. We'll stick them in a fridge and keep them nice and cool so they don't go bad. It's gonna make it stiffer and it's gonna make it that color. There we go, another one. That's a nice one. Come on, buddy. Not a happy fish. Uh, stay out of line. <laughs> hey. There's some nice ones. Nice one. Big boy. <clears throat> this is kind of our Valdez average silver. Seven, eight pounds. Catch the majority like this. We catch a lot of 10, 12s. Derby winners are up in the 16, 18 pound range. All great, nice fish. Straight out of the ocean. Sea lice all over them. Perfect fish to eat. Valdez silver fishing is kind of unique because we do get an enhanced hatchery run. So we get five, six hundred thousand fish that come back every year. One of the great things about it is we get a six fish limit when most places get a three fish limit. Uh, where we started today, we're in our three fish area. We're catching a lot of native fish and maybe some hatchery fish. And we're gonna move back in a little closer and try to finish off our six fish limit later on. So we started silver salmon fishing in Valdez mid July, end of July, you know, the salmon change a little bit. We usually start catching them out where we are right now in the beginning mid July. And then they come into the six fish area beginning of August. And then we really start pounding them all the way through August to Labor Day. Coming up quick, a little guy, it looks like. Is there a fish on there? Yeah, walk oh, yeah. a little bit. So you're just dagging it behind you. Nice little guy, nice silver. Oh, thank you. Little pinker, it looks like. So most of the areas that we fish are within 25 miles of Valdez and one of the nice things is just like today I mean we're as far out as we go and it's it's calm and it almost always is calm So it makes it a really good fishery for people that are worried about getting out on the ocean a lot of action most of the time Good fishery for kids. They have a lot of fun doing it and just have keep them kind of interested with all the all the fish being caught between silvers And I mean even today we caught some pinks and you just get a variety of salmon coming in the boat Here we go. We got a good one. Come on <laughs> They nearly ripped the rod right out of the downrigger. Ooh, here we go. Oh. We got a nice one. We're one with a lot of energy. Oh, I can see him. Come on, buddy. Whoa, stay on the side of the boat. Got other rods out. Whoop! Here he goes. All right. Come on. Here we go. Right under that net. Whoop! Woo! Heck yeah! Look at that big boy. Wow, ah, there you go. Woo! That's a fatty. Oh. Nice. Yep. That's why we come to Valdez. 
a new body you're about to get. Oh, I barely had him. Look at that. Oh, it just no, came he's, out. He's All right. Well, back in Valdez, Alaska, where the silvers are biting. And uh, blue seems to be the hot ticket. It's amazing. When we were here two years ago with the Valdez Outfitters, it was almost all chartreuse. Today, blue is the hot ticket. And look at these beautiful chrome bullets out here in Prince William Sound. Go eat a couple more. Oh, there he is, dude, he's a tank. Oh yeah, jumping, woo! Oh yeah, look at that one. Get him back in there. <laughs> this boy is not ready. Tank. Woo! Nice. Another beautiful silver out here trolling, blue. Pairing. Fire Brian did it again. Today's episode of Potski Outdoors comes to you from a familiar place. We're in Valdez, Alaska for the third summer in a row. Uh, we're out here with Valdez Outfitters. We're chasing silver salmon. Yes, there are a lot of pink salmon still in the ocean here, uh, but we're going after silvers uh, for their wonderful table fare. Now, all of our fish today came on two baits. Uh, the majority of them came on either blue or chartreuse fire brine herring. Uh, we also used uh, Brad's baits and uh, stuffed the fire brine herring up in them. And you'll see both of those today on Potsky Outdoors. Now, we did some interesting things today. You'll see some great drone footage in addition to some underwater footage where we, we trapped a GoPro right on to the downbigger ball. And uh, it's anywhere from 30 to 50 feet down, so you can't really see how blue or chartreuse it is because of the light. However, you can see the salmon come right up to that bait, take a look at it. Sometimes they swipe and miss, other times they swipe and get hooked. But if you wanna come silver salmon fishing, there's few better places to go than Valdez, where you have some of the greatest scenery in the world, in addition to fabulous fishing. And when you're fishing for silvers out here, there isn't a long boat ride. And some people actually wish there was a longer boat ride because of some of the amazing scenery that's available. Mm -hmm.